It's uh, JP from uh, NECC, New England Cop Chases .com. We are at the Manchester Clubhouse. And uh, if you all don't know, um, I was arrested two, uh, about two weeks ago um, for a warrant that Manchester Police put out for me filing a complaint on a police officer, Detective Aaron Brown of the Ghost Unit. Um, they assigned a guy named Sergeant, Sergeant Sanders, uh, C. Sanders it says, um, which is Aaron Brown's boss. They're in the same unit together. Um, so I'm going to read the uh, what the, I'm being accused of. Basically, I filed a complaint on the cop and they, they're charging me for it. So, committing a crime of false swearing, knowingly affirmed official written and verbal statement alleging that he was assaulted by Detective Aaron Brown, which he did. He did push me twice. Um, to Sergeant Sanders, which he did not believe to be true, was made for the purpose of misleading Sergeant Sanders, who was a law enforcement officer of Manchester Police Department. But little do they know, I was making that statement prior, freehand. So this is one out of two charges. It basically says the same thing, fault swearing and filing a false report. Um, I'm currently going to be um, represented by a, a very good attorney. Um, he's a civil rights attorney named John Meyer. Um, and he's representing me in this case and possible further litigation in civil court. Um, depending on how this goes. Um, I'm probably gonna file anyway in federal. Um, I'm not sure um, when that's gonna happen. We're just gonna play this out. But I don't see any judge here allowing this to happen to the people of the public and the people of Manchester, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And Dave Ridley, thanks for calling in at FTL last night. And I, you're welcome, no problem, uh, for going to the Goffstown uh, prison for you. And I appreciate your kind words that you said. And uh, I also want to say, um, I want to make a public apology about Ian Freeman. Um, there's been some in-house in drama in Keene lately and you know people get pissed off. So I just want to apologize for that and try to patch things up. Uh, he asked for a general apology, so this is it. I think uh, both of us were in the wrong, so we'll just keep it at that and keep the drama off the air. But um, when people start working together, when they're going against the state, we need all the help we can get. And, I'm really good at the cop shit, and he's really good at the political shit. So, you know, why why shouldn't we work together, right? Um, and I also want to thank Chris Wade for getting me here um, at least twice um, and following me an hour and 45 minutes behind a cruiser when I got arrested and bailing me out. So I owe a nice cleaning on his car <laughs> and uh, much more. He's kind of been a guardian angel. Um, so I thank you for him. He's also a uh, co-host of uh, Free Talk Live on Friday night. So if you guys want to chime in on that and tune in to Dave Ridley's channel called The Ridley Report. Um, he's one of the best journalists and, uh, you know, freelance journalists in, in New Hampshire. And he's really good at the political stuff and keeping, you know, um, these little towns, politicians, bureaucrats in line. Um, I've always been a fan since I started the activism. Um, I don't, it seems like he's a fan of me. Um, because he stuck up for me on Free Talk Live last night, but I want to say thank you and uh, thank you everybody else, everybody for uh, you know um, helping me out through this whole entire process. And um, stay tuned for uh, more video. We're going to try to catch some cops today and this weekend and Bike Week coming up, which is the largest uh, law enforcement um, gathering in, in like New Hampshire yearly. So. Is roughly about 300 to 350 police officers surrounding the area of Laconia, state police, sheriff's departments, local towns, law enforcement, even campus campus uh, safety's there, and we're gonna uh, try to uh, keep them on their toes. Peace. Oh, don't.